What's going on guys? I'm Tyler and today I wanted to talk about getting three kill streaks with the Sigma. So if you're going for DM Ultra, you're going to have to get those launchers in Diamond. And clearly the hardest thing you're going to have to do with both of the launchers is getting three kill streaks. You're going to have to do that 20 times and this video is going to be me going over the best strategies to do that and also me doing that. It takes a decent amount of time and I haven't finished the challenge yet as of right now, but I'll probably finish it later on today. So this is going to be a video split up into a few parts. This first one's going to cover the strategy, but then part two and three are just going to be me straight up getting the three kill streaks. It's just going to be regular gameplay. So be sure to subscribe to know when that video drops. You can also join my Discord server. Link is down below to also know whenever other videos drop and also when I go live on Twitch. And you can also find my link to my Twitch channel down in the description too. Don't forget to like the video too if you guys enjoy and leave a comment letting me know how you guys are doing getting this challenge done. So as far as strategy goes, obviously you're going to need to do this in hardcore. In regular core game modes, you really need to get a direct hit with the launcher to get a kill. And even then, if they have flak jacket, then you're kind of screwed and everybody runs flak jacket. So you pretty much have no chance of getting three kill streaks in core game modes with launchers. So there's two game modes that I think that you should try and stick to. And the first one is domination. The reason why you should stick to domination is because you can kind of control the spawns with a decent team. And if you're able to hold B and A or C, then you can just stick to that opposite flag that the enemy is holding and just hang around that area and see what you can do with getting kills and just staying alive basically as long as you can until you can squeeze out three kills. The other really good option that I found is actually free for all. Free for all works really well on very specific maps. You're going to have a hard time on maps like Satellite in Miami just because of how long the sight lines are there. And if you're in a long range fight, you're not going to hit any shots with the Sigma or the RPG. So before I go into the specifics of each individual game mode, I'll go over the class that I use first. Basically, since you're playing hardcore, the main thing that you want in your primary weapon is an AR, just so you can guarantee those one-shot kills are pretty much all ranges. Next, you're obviously going to need the Sigma itself, and I like to run the proximity mine, just so I can protect my back if I'm really trying to camp hardcore. And also, you're going to need to run Danger Close, too. Danger Close will give you extra ammo, so that's really the most important thing with the Sigma, because if you don't have Danger Close, you're only going to have, like, two shots, I think. So using Danger Close will give you that extra shot. And for perks, I run Tactical Mass because I hate stuns. Scavenger because you can pick up more ammo as you get those kills with that Sigma. And I also run Ninja because a lot of times I like to try and flank too and just running around without footsteps is really useful. And another thing to note, whenever UAVs go up, try and shoot those out because you're using the Sigma anyway. That'll kind of get in the way unless you're using Ghost, but I prefer to use Ninja. So now for individual strategies for different game modes, I'm going to show Free For All first and then Domination later on. I played more Domination because I was playing with friends and you obviously can't do that with Free For All. So there's going to be a bit more Domination gameplay, but that's probably going to be more in the second video. This first video should consist mostly of Free For All. So in this first video, you're going to see a lot of Cartel, which is an okay map. About two seconds of Satellite because I joined the game late and didn't want to play there anyway. And then it's going to end with some Moscow. So this first map is Cartel and Cartel is okay. You're going to want to stick to the hangar area. The hangar area is better just because there's a lot more walls that you can hide behind and different areas where you can just stay out of sight from a lot of different people. If you're in the river and hiding around those rocks, you're going to find yourself facing a lot more range fights. And again, you're going to want to avoid those at all costs with the Sigma because it's super inaccurate. Now, when you're getting to these areas of the map, don't be afraid to use your primary weapon just because you're not going to be able to win most gunfights with the Sigma. And even if you do, a lot of times you'll die before the kill happens anyway. So get into your preferred camping spot, as much as I hate to say it, get into that preferred camping spot with your primary gun, and then get ready to hang out a whole lot with the Sigma and just shoot anybody who runs by. Once you're here, just listen as much as you can. Just try and play different players' patterns as much as you can, too. Run UAVs and counter UAVs, too, as killstreaks. If you see any UAVs go up and you're already, like, on a killstreak or something, maybe you'll be able to pop that counter UAV to prevent that. And the UAV yourself, you can save that for when you're on it, maybe a one or two streak, and it'll help you secure that last kill. There really isn't much more to the strategy itself. Obviously, you'll be able to pick up a lot of what I'm doing here to get my three kill streaks. Just try and play as safely as possible. Don't be pushing fights like you have a regular gun because you don't using the Sigma, and the Sigma really, really does suck. I'm going to let the rest of the gameplay play out here. Don't forget to leave a like, guys, if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to see the future videos that come out. Leave a comment for what you guys are also doing. And also, don't forget to follow my Twitch channel in the description down below. I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, so you'll be able to find me there, probably doing camo challenges and grinding them out too, so definitely go and check that out. I also plan on doing a lot more videos about zombies camos too. I do want to get that dark ether camo. I think it kind of looks a little better than the DM Ultra. And also the Plague Diamond is just so flashy and such a flex. I'm going to be wanting to get that on a whole lot of guns, probably before I unlock gold in them anyway in the regular multiplayer too. I'm going to be doing a level up guide too for different guns, and little secret guys, zombies might be the best way to do it. Again, subscribe. Stay tuned for that video in the future. This gun sucks, man. Enemy spy plane oh, there's one. Look at that scavenger. Dude, this is not a good spot. Damn, dude. That was too close, too. There were two people around me. 
What the hell? I'm just gonna shoot this out because they stress me out. Let me do this. Get him. No, I missed the floor next to him. There we go. There we go. I don't want to scope in either because it really cuts my field of view. There's two, dude. I think I went down first. Dude, I died first, so that doesn't count. There's one. I want to do this. Hostile spy plane established overhead. So the problem is there's two very distant ways somebody can. Oh, let's go. Oh my God. None. I think that was two more two kill streaks. No threes. I'm not clutch. Let's see if they gave it to me. No. Oh, they did give it to me. All right. Then that's one. That's the, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's the only one I got. All right. Then that's one. One. One of them that we needed. Okay. This I think is probably the worst map. We'll try it though. Maybe it's maybe it's the best. Use of deadly force has been approved. Oh, it's almost over. I guess I can just get a little taster. You know. No. <gasps> Wait. Bro, it missed. Oh my God. Kill me. Kill me. Okay, I got it. <laughs> I it logged on and missed. Moscow definitely seems like the best option though. A lot of little rooms. Yeah. I can't even stand on that. There's one, baby. Is there someone in here? Well, can't know now. She was waiting for me. Oh. Reload, please. Oh, that's two. Let's go. Now I die because I want to make sure I can get it. If I get a six kill streak and it doesn't count, I'm be pissed. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This gameplay is nauseating, dude. Yeah. I don't blame anybody for not wanting to watch this. Oh. Boom. This is one. No, I was too slow. 
Oh my god, that's two. No, you suck. Oh, I hate you. Dude, there were like four people in there. So thanks for watching, guys. Again, this is part one. I'm going to be showing a few more videos of this so you can see me finish off this challenge and get the rest of the three kill streaks. I know I only got like two of those done this game, but in the future videos, they're going to be going a lot faster. I wanted to cover most of the strategy of it this time, and the next few videos are going to be a lot more of me actually getting these three kill streaks. Again, like the video, subscribe if you want to know when that video drops, and thanks again for watching.